Morning, everybody. Thanks for joining me as we take a look at your weekend forecast for September 13th through the 15th. And things look very nice as the good weather, the dry weather is going to continue throughout the weekend here in southern Vermont. Um, looks to continue even in the beginning of next week, at least. Things are looking uh, quite nice for this time of year. Uh, not too humid. Basically good weather. Here are the remnants of Francine, which is pretty much dying here uh, across the... Uh, kind of uh, central Mississippi River Valley. Um, it has dropped, obviously, a lot of rain, uh, but it has basically stalled its northward progression, um, which is good for us because, obviously, that means that we are looking to stay underneath this big dome of high pressure, this big ridge. We'll show you that in a little bit. Um, over time, and not this weekend, but eventually the kind of remnants of the drop, uh, of the hurricane here and the um, and a little bit of convergence on along kind of a boundary layer here may start to try to spin up some sort of um, hybrid storms with some tropical characteristics and some extra tropical characteristics along the coast, which may head in our direction. But we're talking like the mid to late part of next week. That's like the next eventful weather. And the models, uh, one, that is a hard thing to model, even just three or four days out. This is like six days, seven days out. Um, the models are kind of dancing all over the place. I would not worry yet about the details of that. But just to kind of know, that's there is probably at some point there will be an end to this stretch of weather. Um, whether it's that or something else happens, we'll have to wait and see. But we're probably, dry looks almost certain at least through next Tuesday, probably even Wednesday. And even beyond that, there's a chance we stay dry. But like certainly we're looking basically dry. Um, even though uh, the interesting weather is not that far away from us. But uh, yeah. Uh, if you look at precipitation, you can see the kind of the northward extent of it. We've gotten up into very southern, southwestern Virginia uh, and basically Kentucky um, and no further. And big, a huge high pressure system anchored right here over the top of us. That's why the dry weather um, uh, basically been pretty much cloud free. There was been a few clouds around here and there with some very subtle things that are going on, but nothing significant at all do have a pretty good storm out west but again that's not going to get make its way towards us the pattern is very blocked up right now um and uh actually before we go to temperatures let's talk about why the pattern is really blocked up so here's the upper level pattern i talk about troughs quite often trough is just where there's a dip in the in these these are um these are actually lines of equal height but uh, basically in the pressure it dips to the south and a ridge is where it uh, where those uh, those lines rise to rise to the north, um, and what happens when you get a situation like this where you have um, basically high pressure? That's what the the red is indicating here, uh, anomalously high pressure over a low pressure. Um, this is anomalously low, sort of associated with the remnants of Francine. Is this is called a Rex block, and it's called a Rex block because it does just that. It is a block kind of pattern. Um, and what happens is these these situations often just are stagnant. And um, we have been kind of in a stagnant pattern anyway, uh, but this is actually reinforcing it. Uh, the way that the, the, the upper level system uh, developed with Francine actually has kind of enhanced the block. And so hence we are staying dry. So we have already been dry for a long time and we're going to continue dry and full sun for a long time. So yeah, um, kind of a, uh, not an a, pr a pretty unusual pattern with how long we've been dry without any rain here, um, basically. Um, and so uh, not a bad time of year in terms of like, uh, it's, it, you know, we're kind of uh, late in the season here. But um, yeah, very nice weather. Basically, every day has been what you would hope a fall day would be. That will continue um, at least for the next several days. Let's go back to temperatures. You can see also temperatures, it has allowed temperatures to warm um, and uh, across the central part of the country, particularly here right underneath the high pressure. We warm a lot during the day, but it's very dry high pressure um, as we're cut off from a lot of the moisture to the south. And so the, like the humidity kind of moisture. And so what that has meant is that overnight we've dropped down. Oftentimes we've had a lot of 40s for lows. Um, those numbers have been creeping up just a little bit, but we continue to be quite cool. We will be warm during the afternoons. That's been true. You know, we've been in the 70s. Uh, we'll probably see 80s tomorrow, um, and we'll be close to 80 today and close to 80 again on Sunday. So, yeah, basically warm weather, um, but, uh, but, but uh, not, not, uh, not humid. And so the overnight temperatures have stayed uh, very comfortable. Um, so, again, very nice weather um, going forward. Uh, let's take a look at the actual forecast. 
as you can see, all sun. Very little chance. I mean, there, there definitely could be a cloud or two around. Morning fog is always a possibility in the valley, so sometimes that takes a couple hours to burn off. But basically, once you get past that, it's full sun all the way throughout Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Temperatures warm, um, quite warm for this time of year, upper 70s to near 80. Um, cooler in the morning, not quite as cool. We are starting to build a little bit of humidity has made its way towards us. Not enough that it feels like it's humid, but enough that it sort of has warmed up, uh, that it's warming up those overnight temperatures a little bit. Um, as, as humidity um, often will keep the uh, extra moisture in the air, will keep those nighttime temperatures up, uh, but not real warm. I mean, again, you know, uh, lower 50s, uh, mid 50s, maybe by Sunday, mid to upper 50s, depending on uh, your location. But yeah, oh, daytime highs, upper 70s. Uh, I think Saturday, a lot of us see 80. Some of us will see 80 today. Some of us will see 80 on Sunday as well. But basically, nice weather. Really can't complain. Um, not much to talk about really either. Work week, or sorry, weekend highlights. Uh, so I should say weekend, not work week. Sorry about that. Dry weather continues. Temperatures will warm to summer-like levels for the weekend. They've already been pretty close to summer-like levels, but it will be a couple degrees warmer than it's been. Humidity levels stay low. The dry weather continues at least through the first half of last week. I should say next week. My goodness. Couldn't type things out this morning. Sorry about that. Keep a, a closer eye than normal on any outdoor fires as obviously we have been dry for quite a while at this point. Um, during the fall, this is not a huge, although it is, it, this, this is the time of year, uh, most of our brush fires in, uh, in Vermont happen in April and into May, um, uh, once the snow melts, but before we really green up. Um, they do sometimes happen in the fall, and it would be this kind of weather pattern that would lead to them. So um, if you're burning, just uh, keep a, definitely a close eye on that as you go. And certainly as the leaves start to fall, we're a little before that, although the leaves are definitely starting to turn a little bit. Um, we've got some early color out there. But um, as that happens, um, just keep an eye on any um, fires, especially if we don't get any rain over the next couple of weeks as well. Um, so just that's just sort of an FYI. Otherwise, things are pretty stable. Um, I want to thank you for uh, watching my forecasts. I will be back on Monday with an updated look at your work week forecast. We're back into the twice a week pattern. And um, I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons to help support what I do here at the West River Weather Guy. If you're interested in becoming a patron, there is a link in the description below that allows you to do so. And also, I would like to um, uh, encourage you, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel before and you watch these videos, go ahead and subscribe. It helps make sure you don't miss any of my videos, helps other people find my videos, things like that. So yeah, give them a quick subscribe. I would really appreciate that. All right, I will be back on Monday morning with a look at your work week forecast.